I applied the eye ointment and my Shizu wore an e-collar for the last 7 days, the couple said to me. But the red spot is still present. What's the problem and what is the solution, doctor? A red bulging spot persisted over 2 weeks. As there were financial budgets over medical expenses, the vet prescribed an eye ointment and the dog was to wear an Elizabeth collar 7 days ago. However, the red bulging spot persists and this time the vet advised surgery. This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video to bring veterinary medicine and surgery come alive for vet students and pet owners. Your Shizu has a decimetal seal. The vet sketched an illustration of the cross section of the eyeball and the cornea. The cornea is made out of four layers, which includes the basement membrane, which is the endothelium, the decimates membrane, the stroma, and the epithelium. His cornea has been seriously injured, resulting in a very deep ulcer. However, the cornea has not ruptured yet, or all liquid from inside the eyeball will flow out. The pressure of the liquid inside the eyeball pushes out the decimate membrane, and from your point of view, you see a red bulging spot. The solution is to stitch up the eyelids so that the ulcer can heal without the dog rubbing the eye as an ulcer is very painful. An exposed ulcer is irritated by the dust, breeze and light and will not heal if the dog keeps rubbing his eye with his paw or against the wall or bed. Day 1 after the surgery, the eyelids were stitched up to let the corneal healing take place. The e-collar was worn. The dog was hospitalised for at least 7 days as the owners may not be able to provide good nursing care. Day 3 after the surgery, the dog was sedated and blood clots were removed. Inspection and treatment of the eye was done twice daily. A very high standard of veterinary care of the eye by the vet is required. Day 6 after the surgery, the stitches loosened. In most cases, the stitches break down between 7 to 10 days due to the movement of the eyeball. On day 7, there is no more red bulging spot. The white spot is a scar plugging the ulcer. The outcome is good in this case and the dog went home. The seclera was not inflamed while the corneal healing was excellent. The dog had to wear an e-collar and eye ointment had to be applied for. The illustration is a summary of the tarsorepi procedure which helps to protect the cornea and supports it during repair. The third eye flap prevents sutures on the inner surface of the eyelid from abrading the cornea. Conclusion There is no post-op complaint from the owner for the past month. The white spot will remain on the cornea but has no significant effect on a dog's vision. Eye injuries are emergencies. Consult your vet within 24 hours of injury to Tips and advices Using eye drops and putting on the e-collar as treatment will not lead to good healing as the dog would want to rub his itchy and painful eye all the time. The decimetal cell would rupture, causing liquid to leak out from the inside of the eye as seen in the image. In this case, there is blood inside the anterior chamber and outside the eyeball as shown in the image. Early treatment before the cornea ruptures usually gives good healing results. In this image, the cornea of the dog has already ruptured, resulting in the leakage of aqueous from the chamber. If the owner insists on bringing the dog home instead of hospitalization, the surgical outcome is usually poor as the owner is unable to apply eye drops and clean the eye. The image shows another shizu with desi ripples can be seen to the right of the corneal ulcer as aqueous humor starts leaking out of the eye. The eyeball and the third eyelid should be well irrigated and clear of debris before stitching. Tarsorephy may be done without the third eyelid flat by stitching together the upper and lower eyelid, as seen in this dog which had a central corneal ulcer. A very high standard of veterinary nursing is required. In this case, the owner rejected the vet's advice to keep the dog hospitalised after the tarsorephy surgery. Seven days later, the cornea is still damaged at two areas. Stitches loosen from day 6 to 10 and are removed. Horizontal mattress sutures are advised. Eye injuries are emergencies. Consult your vet promptly within 24 hours.
The image on the left shows a pekingese with extensive eye ulcer before the tertiary surgery. The image on the right is taken after the tertiary surgery. The ulcer is healed and the cornea is clear with a faint white scar. Early eye surgery heals the deep corneal ulcer, preventing rupture and loss of vision. Thank you.